What is this? How's it going everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler. Welcome to this stream that I definitely haven't been doing for almost an hour. But we're back. We're finally going to jump in and play a game of The Great War. Wow. Oh, I'm so happy to be back and it feels like I, I haven't even launched Hearts of Iron in at least a week or so. This definitely isn't the 10th time. We're now playing the Great War mod, but with the Mega Sub-Mod. Sub-Mod. Uh, what does that include, I hear you say? Well, it includes Vulcans Ablaze, the Canada the First Dominion, and a uh, reworked German Focus Tree, a path for Sweden, an expanded Japanese tree, collapse of British India, a, new f a few focuses for Britain. Uh, pfft, there's more planned content as well, but why don't we take a little look Ooh, at the new... Oh, wow. Take a little look at the new reworked German Empire tree, eh? It'll be the Chads in Germany. It's been a while since I've played as Germany. Am I saying Germany enough? Take a shot every time I say Germany. 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 Don't. You'll die of... <laughs> alcohol poisoning. Don't do that. Germany. Okay, what's reworked? Oh my god. I think this might be reworked a little bit, eh? I don't want to spend my PP yet, I don't think. Or do I? You know what? I might save my PP, and you should too. Look after your PP, chaps. Do you know how you can look after your PP and your balls, right? Manscaped. Now I haven't played the Great War mod in a very long time. I don't think, or have I? I don't know. But the king's dead. Anyway, what can we do as the Kaiser? Have they updated the portraits? The portraits look very good, don't they? Oh, Albania's revolted. Oh well. You can tell I'm really invested. <laughs> I could go communist. I won't, but I could. 30 whips of the meta here. Okay, well, I'm going to change the Tad Houses around. You're going to get a ton of uh, heavy artillery in your divisions. The Chad Houses will rise with heavy artillery. <laughs> Start getting my military staff, I guess. I do want army speed. Yeah, increase my division speeds. That's going to be important. So I am allied just with Austria-Hungary at the moment. Okay, let's change all of these over to Chad House. I want a decent, decent stack of chads. Is two heavy artillery enough, do you think, per division? Maybe three. But then I've, then I've got 29 combat with, and it's awkward. Let's have this. I have no idea if this is good or not, but we're going for it. Oh, now, the Hindenburg plan or the Schlieffen? Fuck it. Let's do the Hindenburg plan. They are rudimentary at best with such imposing force and must gain all the diplomatic advantages. Yes, yes, use diplomacy rather than brute force. And then when diplomacy doesn't work, then you use brute force. That's how you do it. That's the way to do it. I'm lacking a lot of heavy artillery. I'm quite glad I've got 10 factories on it, though. I should probably try and get some Fokkers. Oi, Fokker, get in the sky. Assure the northern border. We require your loyalty, Denmark, or I will be coming for you, Bokoan. Let's just send an army there just to make sure they know what's up. Just in case they have any feelings of rebellion. Never trust the Danish. I do love a Danish pastry, though. I will guarantee all of these. Yes, here we go. Protect neutrality. <laughs> I'm just going to guarantee all of these little nations. Oh my god, look at William the Fourth. Look at his moustache. Look at his outfit. Mm. Oh. Hello there, a revolution. What if China had chicken pox? Uh, looks like they've all guaranteed an invasion of Libya. Italy dreams of empire. So here we go. The French have been posturing along our border for many years. However, now that we have guaranteed the neutrality of the Low Countries, the French seek to challenge our guarantee. We will not allow this power play to go unanswered. Good. French aggression in the Low Countries. Soldiers wearing French uniforms were caught inside Belgium territory and a small skirmish broke out. We didn't expect this. Ha! <laughs> Neutral no longer. We'll invite the countries threatened by France into our faction to ensure... Oh my god, could you imagine if they all decide to join? Oh, they all joined! <laughs> Except Switzerland. Bruh. I can't believe that I've got all of these just... Just willing to join me already. Nice. Oh yeah, we control Alsace-Lorraine as well. Ah, oh, this is peak Germany. Belgium joined the Ontario... They freaking betrayed me! What?! They joined me, and then they would... Belgium flipped. I'm coming for you, Albert. Albert thinks he's all that. Wait until I have more Chad houses. My whole army, I'm going to try and make Chad houses. Italy won the war. What a surprise. Uh, actually, that is a surprise. 
Okay, infantry divisions are just going to be bog standard 20 width. Uh, they're all going to change over to infantry. Uh, these are all Chad houses. These are all infantry, I think. And these are all infantry as well. Belgium demands open. <coughs> Off. No, it's mine. What are you going to do about it? Belgium? Nothing. That's what I thought. The cowards. This is very precious to me. Oh my god, so many military factories. Well, I guess that means I have to have like 40 factories on siege artillery then. I am going ham with the siege artillery. Probably try and construct some trenches now, shouldn't I? I just want to hold Russia at bay while I deal with the real threat that is... Oh my god, I'm still lacking a thousand heavy artillery and it's almost 1914. Uh, meanwhile, the Ottomans... I'm not even sure I want them in my faction, you know. <laughs> oh, we have our garrison divisions. Those will protect the coastline. I don't even know if the AI naval invades on this mod, but just in case they do. Never hurts to be prepared. I'm not really noticing many differences. Oh, except for Canada doing chemical warfare. Fantastic. Um, Canada do have their own focus tree, I guess. Sure, chemical warfare in Canada. Classic. Just to increase our infrastructure, I guess. Especially in the provinces where it's like 6 out of 10. But then there's no resources there, so what's the point? I'll go where I get the resource. Look at that. Plus 31 from just in... I'll never lack for wood again. Giggity. The buffs you get here are bonkers. I'm going to war with France. Here we go. I'll never see this coming. I reckon that's probably enough to hold the Russians. Oh, no. No, no, what are you doing? What are you... What are they... Sir? Oh, no. I've got the Schiffen mock plan. I'll just do that. Join, join, join! Ah! Frickin' Netherlands, man. Oh, now they want to join. Chad House divisions go burr. Yeah, they are. They are Chad House divisions. Like, look at all the French casualties they're going to take. They just cannot beat my... Brussels has fallen. We shall be home by Christmas. Ah! Oh, France. You fools. I've taken 2,000 casualties compared to their 134,000. And I'm still pushing, I think. Uh, so what I'm actually going to do is, with the reserve divisions, we're going to go here, sign a Von Mackensen to hold the line, and then prepare the Chad houses for an assault. Who knows if that's going to work? Hey, work or not. Oh, there's the Polish Wehrmacht. Ooh, if we polish the Poles their own nat nation state after the war, perhaps the residents of our parts of Poland will be more willing to join in the action. Little do they know. <laughs> I'm not going to let them. I can promise anything and give them nothing. I'm still not even trying against Russia. I wonder, would I win? Oh, come on, Russia. Oh no, they are they are more competent than that. They are more competent than that. Okay, that's good. Meanwhile, my Chad houses may have hit a bit of a roadblock. I've just done a f***ing encirclement with the Chad houses. <laughs> oh my god. Heavy artillery is just king, isn't it? Uh, let's see what happens if we do this. Battle planning. I love battle planning. It takes all of the skill away from the game and enables me just to be lazy AF. Maybe I was overconfident, actually. Oh, never mind. No, I'm almost to Paris. The war will be over by Christmas. What? Japan? F***ed <laughs> off? How am I still winning with these Chad houses? It's only like 12... Oh, the soft attack. Yeah, okay, that is pretty good. Naval invasion in Austria. I... Oh my god. Wow, they're really going for it, eh? Jeez, Louise. Oh no, I'm getting stopped just outside of frickin' Paris. Oh no, no, no. Slow and steady, I think, to win this. I'm okay with all these cycle charging, and I'm quite happy to let many French die. Actually, do you know what? I'm going to stop attacking in general, and then see how many casualties they end up taking, and then we just waltz on in for the victory at the end. Uh, I don't even know what Russia are doing. Not a lot. The French are actually going to push me back a little bit. Oh, we've run out of the Schlieffen plan. Okay, this is, where it, this, is, this is where we get bogged down, eh? I can't believe I've got this close to Paris and now I'm stuck. We're actually going to get pushed back a little bit. The ferocity of the French attacks are proving too much for my chads. I mean, they're up to 1.1 million casualties already, though. Good odds for any German. I don't know how long the French can keep that up, to be honest with you. They're going to run out of equipment soon. Surely. Ooh, upgrade this guy too. Infantry expert. Oh, wow. Okay, our infantry are going to be... Frickin chads. Oh, and he's a fortress buster too. Oh, I should have been using that ability. Siege artillery. <laughs> boom! Boom, 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 boom. We are not attacking. JK, we are attacking. Palace has fallen. Oh, oh yeah, baby. This is what you want to see. Oh, they still own that neighborhood. 
Not for long. The Chad houses are here. But there we go. Paris has completely fallen. Yet they still continue to offer resistance. The Russians are now just sacrificing millions of their own troops too. Good old Russia. You can always rely on them for some fodder. I'm a bit surprised France hasn't chosen to surrender yet. There we go. Six encircled. Bye, Felicia. Let's befriend the Ottomans. Hi. Welcome. Would you like to join the war? Stop cycle attacking me. Let me, let me click. God damn. That's all I want to do. Just let me click. Let me take Dijon. Dijon. Oh, hold up. The hell? <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'm getting some early light tanks. What year is that from? Oh, heavy tonk, light tonk, heavy tonk. Everyone wants a tonk. Invite Sweden. Ah, Sweden, here we go. We'll lose nothing by asking. Exactly. If you don't ask, you don't get. So close. So close to encircling the freaking Maginot. Well, Maginot. I control the... Uh, where it would be. Just distract them. Oh my god. Yes. 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 No! Come on, just thrust in there. Oh, they've put so many units there now. That's so irritating. Oh my god, I've actually encircled them. Okay, so what are they on? Three and a half million casualties. Let's see what they're on after this. Oh, isn't victory great? Many baguettes died that day. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, there's only 300,000. Oh, that's disappointing. Oh, it's going to be a lot more than that. I actually don't know what France expects now. They have no equipment. They can't have any manpower, surely. Really? Wow. Ah, Sweden joined. Welcome, Sweden. Pretty happy with the size of the central powers at the moment. Well, except maybe the Ottomans. Oh, good. More French are encircled. Bye. You know what? I'm so confident now. Let's just freaking battle plan it to heck. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Okay, so we stop attacking, and then I'm gonna let these starve, and then I'm gonna kill them. 3.96. Oh, they're so close to capitulation, too. Oh, f*** off. Okay, so that's like another 34 divisions. Yet yeah, the French still haven't capitulated. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. F*** you, France. F*** you. Oh, who wants to join the faction? The Qing Dynasty? Sure! Oh my god, we actually just blasted our way to Rome. How are the Italians this bad? Like, are they even trying? Flashback to the sack of Rome. Yeah. This is just bonkers. Oh, we're, yep, yeah, we've split the Italian forces now, so they're blocked in the north and the south. Anaconda what? Anaconda what? I've forgotten the words. You can't get some sun because you're encircled. Never mind. I just embarrassed myself, really. Feel free to say that was cringe, because I agree with you. It certainly was. The Ching capitulated? Oh, sh <laughs> Ah! What is this? I mean, this is nice. I'm very happy with this. Oh, sh <laughs> Ah. You okay down there, buddy? Oh, come on. What the heck is Canada doing here? Why must you be the way that you are, Ottomans? Oh, <laughs> France Joseph has died. <sighs> Who's in charge now? It's his son, isn't it? Oh, no. Not Carl. Carl. Hey, Carl. Anyone seen The Walking Dead? That went off a freaking cliff, didn't it? Help me out here, Austria-Hungary. Oh my god, that's literally one tile for like the massive freaking encirclement. Instead, they're all going to get out, aren't they? Now they help when it's already too late. This is actually looking pretty dicey for me, isn't it? I'm not that confident anymore. Sweden's invading Russia. Oh, oh Sweden. You beautiful, beautiful boys. Oh my god, the Italians are so confident that they're trying to counterattack. Oh, mainly because of the British divisions. Hey, a nice encirclement in Russia. Slash Poland. What the heck? Uh, This is not what I wanted. I don't even know how I'm managing to do that advance into Russia. I am going to stop that though, because that's going to cost me a lot of equipment. I'd rather focus on this and this. What we want to do is take this port and this one. Then these get encircled. And then this is this the flank secure. Well, this is just hell. Oh, d thank you so much for that Lendlease, Austria-Hungary. I'm so grateful. One a month.
the absolute audacity of that man. So charitable, much wow. Okay, I'm actually going to send 24 divisions of, of Chad houses up to the north to just push the front and try and take Petrograd. Just try and get Russia out of the war. The Chad houses are on the move. Just need to get across this river. Oh, but we have makeshift bridges, don't we? Yes, we do. Da -da 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 -da. This is an utter mess of a civil war, uh, of, a, of a World War One. I. I don't think I've had it like this before. It's pretty grim. How's Sweden doing? Oh, Sweden are just... Oh, the Swedes. Gotta love them. Belgium division stacks look disgusting. Hey? Disgusting. <gasps> They've actually got 90 divisions in here. Ah, here we go. Oh my gosh. So intense. Surely Russia has to sue for peace soon. This is ridiculous. I'm just honestly surprised I haven't had like an armistice or anything or, or anything like that. It's just going. Did I break it? Oh no, there it is. Ah, 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 ah. The Treaty of Brest-Litovsk. Hey, well that's absolutely uh, horrifying. Um, uh, I got no land from that. What utter horse? <laughs> oh, I have to take out Japan and oh god. Oh, all right. Oh, I guess I will do that and form a Polish state. I literally haven't taken any territory now. Help the Ottomans? No. No, I, I don't think I will. The situation in France has become far too much to bear. What should we do? What should we... What? Force them to sign a treaty? I mean, I did it. Ah. I won. That was a victory. Yes, I forced them into a peace deal. I, I, well, I'm taking that as a win. Uh, victory in the Wiltcraig. Germany stands supreme. There you go. Boom. Look at the Netherlands. They just got wars rightfully theirs, I guess. Oh, wait. Is the Ottoman Empire back? <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, that was really good. I won. And I've created Kaiserreich now. So there we go. So that's where I'm going to end the stream today. So thank you very much for watching. And I will speak to you all again very soon. Ta-ta for now. Many thanks to Onion Duck, Maximilian Foreman, Wyatt Green, Kobe Dennis, Zachariah Mosby, Chancellor64, Brandon Preston, Tad House, Vach, Warren P. George, Val Hallahalls, Yeah Boy, Jack Troku, Jiggly Crotch, Logan Whaley, and Use Beef for being ridiculous round of supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. Wah! One take Rambler. <laughs>